Shakuhachi lesson. My name is Sean Renzo Head. I'm your licensed Shakuhachi instructor, and today we're going to talk about the subtleties of kan, so the upper register of Shakuhachi, and how to be more delicate about it. So uh, a lot of my students have started asking me, how, how do I get those super soft notes? And they were specifically referencing the piece Koku that I did a couple weeks back, or I think at this point, maybe a month back. Um, this what makes the that piece so difficult is the soft notes in the higher register. So how do you go about it? How do you do it? Um, what what are my tips and tricks? Well, it's a it's a lot. If, well, first off, you have to practice a lot to in order to obtain that sort of nuance in any instrument. Um, you know, there's a lot of violin players in the world that can play loud and it sounds beautiful, but there's a there's very few violin players who can play nuance and with panache and with you know playing with one bow hair and yet it still sounds full and beautiful and thick sounding. How do we do that with the shakuhachi? Well, um, so some of the things that I do is I start with the lowest note being loud as possible and I work my way up Until I get to the, the upper register of the instrument and I just go softer and softer and softer and softer which is the opposite of what we want to do we want the lower register to like and I, well, I don't I don't mean what we want to do it in terms of that's what our our end goal is our like the the it's easier to play softer at the bottom louder at the top and to flip-flop that is what's really actually difficult. So you're going against the grain, and especially for these long, I mean, uh, we all know at this point that one of the things that we do the most as shakuhachi players is otsunodo, to get the power there. That's because that's that's the note that can be the softest if we don't practice it enough, because it's easy for that that note to jump up to the kan register. That's why we sit there and play otsunodo for 10 to 20 minutes every single day uh, when, we're, when we're starting, is to develop sound and core. So the uh, the upper notes at that point easily become just very loud and blaring. So to take them back, I do something like what I just did. I play it loud. And I just start taking away air while maintaining the pitch. And so that, that's the really important part is I take away the air, but I maintain the pitch. Because if I if I just take away the air, I'm going to drop the lower octave. So I have to tighten the armature and use less air. And to the point where it's non-existent anymore. And that's that's really the best way to do it. And I, I wish there was more to say about it um, because it's, it's definitely not easy to start off a piece, especially like Koku. And then end the sound like it's still going, maybe, I don't know. It, it, that, that level of getting there, I mean, that took me a really, really long time. And actually, um, I'm gonna take out my, my favorite tool again. This is what I use. This helps so much. It really, you have so much more strength here and you're able to control the instrument more. Um, and I think that watching the tone video again, uh, doing those techniques over and over will really, really help. Some notes are a little bit louder than others, so let's take, for example, that uh, sando u. That note's very loud. So getting that one soft is actually very, very difficult. But then if I do sando u medi, that's a much easier way of getting that chi note softer. So I think overall it's a combination of things. It's one, training the breath with the, the voldine. It's two, uh, being able to 
have a have a strong tone in the in the base of the flute. So if you're able to play uh, with a strong breath, you're going to be able to play with a weaker breath. Then three, the last thing would be to be able to tighten the armature and take away the air. So you're just you're balancing it out by I'm going to use a faster air speed by using uh, a tighter armature, and I'm going to use less air so I don't jump up into the upper octave like this. Because that will happen very easily if you're not going. Now I'm going to tighten the armature, but I'm going to take away air. So, I know it's a very short lesson, um, but it's it's kind of a it's a difficult technique that has a simple solution to it. Uh, so I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, just please leave a comment in the description below, and I will see you guys next week. If you're interested in private lessons, you can go to seanheadmusic.com. I teach lessons online for Zoom, Skype, and I also teach on Facebook Messenger as well. So if you're interested, just send me an email, and we can get started right away. All right, have a wonderful week. Mm -hmm.